Hello everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. I want to demonstrate today how to set up a cloud VPS server and just how easy and quick it is with our platform. So right now on our screen we're at the cloud web hosting page. So you're going to simply select the product that you want to order, whether it be the VPS, SSD, or a dedicated, or even our basic. But right now I'm just going to demonstrate on how quick and easy it is to set up a VPS. So we'll click this. On the next page we're going to select which plan best suits our needs. Um, basically they're the same thing other than the disk space and the RAM. So this all goes down to how much space you need and how intensive um, your resources you need for your application or website. So if you have any questions on that just click the online here live chat and we will be sure to um, help you out in your selection. But uh, for this demonstration I'm going to start off with the one gigabyte VPS. So all I'm going to do is click deploy. So on here now I want to enter a domain name. I can either register one, I can transfer from another registrar, or I can um, use an existing domain name. So I already have the name registered, so we're just going to go ahead and use my existing domain name. And we're just going to use namehero.org. Alright, on the next screen we show our uh, price. So we're going to pay $68.20 a month for this machine. Next we need to define our, our host name which is um, any name you want to call this server. So for example you can see we have server 1 um, in, the, in the text field there so we could call it that or we could just call it simply alpha. Um, it's any name you want. It's not, it, it just would however you'll remember your server the best. The next is for the name server prefixes and these also can be whatever you want but the def default is just NS1 and NS2. Pretty simple there. Now root password. This is going to be the root password for your server and I recommend making it uh, fairly strong and that means at least eight characters. You want to use um, special characters, um, a, a mix of numbers and um, and um, capital letters and stuff like that. Uh, you can even use a uh, password generator if you need that, um, which, which I highly recommend because um, your root password, of course, um, it needs to be very, very strong. It doesn't need to be something um, necessarily that you remember all the time. So I'm going to go ahead and make mine in here. And actually, if your root password is not strong enough, the server creation will fail. Um, so be sure to make that nice and strong. Now next we get to determine if we want any off-site backups and this is your we can set your server to automatically back up for you every night on the machine. However if you want a little extra peace of mind and have your backups stored off-site um, that can be restored in case of a um, disaster then I recommend doing this. So basically all we're going to do here is select yes and then we select how much space we need. Now this particular server um, only has a 75 gigabyte hard drive, so the 100 gigabytes of backup is going to be plenty. Next is for dedicated IP addresses. Um, all our VPS, SSDs, and dedicated, well, the SSDs, SSD and VPSs come with two. The dedicateds come with eight. Um, but two IP addresses is the default. If you want to pay a little extra, you can get more depending on your needs. Um, but we're going to need two, and that's just so we can have our custom name servers. So we're just going to keep it at the default too. And monthly bandwidth, 5 terabytes is um, almost always enough. Unless you're just pushing an insane amount of traffic, then you can upgrade here. Um, also, the cool thing about our platform is what if you can start at 5 gigabytes and if you start growing up, you know, growing really fast, then we can upgrade you on the fly. So now I'm just going to add to cart and check out. Okay, so we can see our order here. Everything is all together. Um, so we're ready to actually provision the server. So we're just going to go to check out. Now in, on our account here, we, I'm actually logged in already, so all my information is populated. And you can see we could pay with Bitcoin if we would like, or we can just use a credit card on file. So we're just going to use our credit card that we already have on file, but um, it's up to you however you wish to pay. If there's anything else you want to let us know during the order process, maybe you need to you know, have a tech card and um, particular, uh, your, your operating system for a particular piece of software you're going to install. If there's anything you, additional you want us to know, just enter it in here. Um, please review our terms of service. Just remember important things like we do not host adult websites. So it's just important to kind of read through those and be familiar with them if you're not already. So once you agree to those, you can complete order. And then your, your server is going to immediately begin provisioning. So as you can see, everything has um, successfully um, went through. And so now the server is going to begin building.
Now, what I'm going to do is it, it normally takes about 10 to 15 minutes from this point for your server to come online. So right now, I always like to go say, uh, go grab a cup of coffee. Um, by the time you finish during the sugar, you will you will have your server online. All right, I hope you're enjoying that cup of coffee now. Um, you can see our server is now online. It's been built, like I said, five, 10 minutes. Um, it, everything's online and that's the cool thing you don't have to wait for us to order hardware you don't have to it, we don't have to tell you that we only have five or ten in stock with our cloud we're able to build these on the fly so if you need an extra server then you can build it and then if you if you don't you you know you can scale back that's the powerful part of the namehero.com cloud platform so anyways now on our screen is a server we just built and um, you can see we've got all our details here we built a one gigabyte VPS we called it alpha.namehero.org we have a menu here of management management actions we can do, um, such as reboot, shut down, start it, restore it. Um, we can view history, IP management, backups, and we can even cancel the service if need be. Um, but if we scroll down here, we can see all these options down here. Now, um, right here is server status. When this is building, um, while I was getting my cup of coffee, it says um, building. And now we're running successfully, so it says it's running. Um, each of these links is how you access your control panels. Now it might take um, 30 minutes to an hour for the control panels to fully um, come online. Um, that's just because the IP address, is, um, and which you can see is here, has to assign to the control panel and propagate. And that just takes again about 30 minutes, sometimes maybe an hour. But um, you know, while you're drinking your coffee and, and just kind of settling in for your new server, you can just give it some time. But we can click these links and then access either cPanel or Webhost Manager um, right from this interface. Um, also, the cool thing is here, you know, you don't have to know SSH or anything about managing servers. Everything is done in this portal. So, you know, if your server gets hung up, maybe you have a tremendously big burst of traffic or maybe your application time's out or something, you can reboot it right here. You don't have to call us. Or, um, you know, we'd be more than happy to do it for you. But if you want to do it yourself, you just click right here. Um, same thing, you know, the same thing as shut down. You know, maybe the server gets hung up so bad the reboot won't work. You can just shut it down um, using this button here, and then you can start it here. Um, the restore feature here, we're not um, yet using this. If you need to use a restore feature, you can click on here, and you'll see a number of templates we have set up in the system. Um, right now, we're just running on CentOS 6.6, 64-bit. If you need a different operating system, then get a hold of our team, and we can work on a custom solution for you. But um, for now, we're just automatically provisioning the CentOS um, operating system. But again, if you want to run Ubuntu or even a Windows server, just let us know and then we can, um, of course, make that available to you. So we're just going to go back here to our server and you can see each time we go back, it, it refreshes the status. Now when we scroll down here, we can see our bandwidth usage. And of course, we just created the server, so um, we don't have any bandwidth usage. But as it comes up, um, we can see it. Um, we can see down here our memory that gets used. Um, of course, we've got um, one gigabyte of RAM in this server, and then you can see our virtual memory here is at two gigabytes. Now, you'll notice it, the physical memory doesn't show completely as one gigabyte, and that's because it takes about 250 megabytes just for the cloud to run, um, so don't be alarmed by that. Um, th that's just part of um, running the server. But you can, again, you can kind of monitor this stuff. And the most important thing about the server load here is just this load average. As long as this is below 1, you know, you can see it's 0 0.46, 0 0.52, and 0 0.24. As long as it's below 1, you're running pretty good. Um, I've actually had this go as high as 1,000 and still have servers load. So any questions about that, just let us know. And we can scroll down here and you can see alert, um, HTTP is no longer responding. Sometimes Apache, and that's the Apache web server, sometime, sometimes Apache just um, kind of um, goes into a quarrel when we first build the server. So all we do is go right here and we can click um, reboot and it will reboot the entire server. Or we could just reboot the Apache service in Webhost Manager. But again, that, that sometimes happens when we first build a server as the Apache um, goes offline. So that's, that's okay, it'll come right back up here. Um, there's two more things I want to talk about before we conclude this video tutorial, and that is the IP address management and the backup. So if we click IP management, um, we can see that um, our IP addresses are right here. So here's your um, primary IP address. 
and here is your extra IP address that you ordered. So um, from this point on, you could go register your name servers. And again, you, there's a tutorial on exactly how to do that. But you would basically assign this to NS1, and you would assign this other one to NS2. Um, and these would be your, your name server IPs. And then you'd also point your server to the primary IP, which is this. The NetMask gateway and broadcast, you really don't need to worry about those. Those are more for internal. Um, so again, you can just kind of overlook those. The two important things you need to know is these two IPs. Um, since you only ordered two, since we only ordered two and we built the server, the IP limits have been reached for this machine. If you need more, you'll need to submit a ticket to the support team and we'll get right back to you on um, how we do that. Um, just please let us know, you know, what do you need the IP addresses for? And as long as they meet um, the requirements, um, then we can definitely get those for you. Uh, there's a global IP4 um, shortage right now, so we just have to make sure you're using the IPs for good intentions and not um, anything like bulk emailing. So we go back to server details here and um, we click on backups. So we click this here. And remember, we ordered 100 gigabytes of backup space. So you can see no backups have run yet um, because this runs every night around midnight, um, Eastern time, 1 a.m. Around that time, the backups will run automatically, your off-site backups. So this is where they, those backups will live. Um, but again, since we just built the server, there is no backups. But uh, if you have any questions on that, just let us know. Um, but other than that, you can see the server is online and running that we just built. And again, you can access your cPanel and web host manager here and your primary IPs here. And, um, you know, you're pretty much all set from here on out. Um, I'm going to do a couple, several more tutorials um, on exactly how to, you know, set up other things such as pointing your server to the domain. And we can actually, uh, we'll go through on, you know, how you set up your primary IP address to resolve to this here. But that's all there is to it. You've got a fully manageable VPS um, SSD or dedicated server just following these same steps. It's, it's quite simple. Um, and also the really cool thing is about our platform is this also formats for your mobile device. So I can pull it in here and say I was on my smartphone um, and I could go right through here and I can view all this information if I need to reboot it when I'm out to eat or, you know, out getting coffee or anything. I can do it right here just from um, my mobile device. So that's the, that is the cool thing about um, the NameHero.com platform is that we made this um, completely responsive so it works at all times. If you have any questions, feel free to hit us up on the live chat. All you have to do is click live chat and, um, you know, we'll come right on here. Or you can just give us a call at 1-855-984-NAME. Or, of course, you can shoot us an email, contact at namehero.com or even support at namehero.com, whichever one you prefer. So um, thanks, everyone, for watching. We look forward to helping you out with your um, web hosting needs. Enjoy the cloud.